Hello everyone, welcome to my new YouTube video. Today I will be starting a new sketchbook as you can see here. I bought this sketchbook at a local library and I thought that it was a quite nice sketchbook for a uh, cheap price. Like it was 660 yen which is around six dollars. Here I just wrote sketchbook number one and the date and also my name I saw that everyone does that and I just wanted to do it as well and so um, this sketchbook is not actually made for watercolor it's only 126 grams I think but as I touched it the paper was quite nice and a bit thick and I thought that uh, maybe a light wash of watercolor could be done without uh, so much buckling on this paper as well. The reason I didn't want to buy a fancy sketchbook was because I was uh, already scared of ruining the sketchbook as uh, it is my first big sketchbook. I've only used small ones uh, up until this point and so um, I decided to buy what I found at a local shop. And so um, this uh, sketchbook really surprised me as uh, you can see on the other side even though I used uh, ink here and also the watercolor that I used after uh, for painting this uh, sketch that I'm doing right now it didn't show through and uh, it was actually quite nice even though I used some uh, watercolor and quite the amount of water on this. So I thought that today while sketching I would be talking about my um, art journey and who I am because even though I've been posting on Instagram for some time now and I've started a YouTube channel, people don't really know who I am and I thought this would be a good opportunity to do so. So my name is Tao. I'm 21 years old. I moved to Japan a year ago and here I am still living in Japan. Um, my art journey, well, um, I've been doing art since I was a child, as every child, but I've been doing art on and off because um, I felt really discouraged. Uh, discouraged. I uh, had a friend uh, that was really, really good at art and it wasn't like um, because she was practicing or anything but because her father was an artist and she was a very good artist as well even though she didn't practice or anything like it was DNA talent I don't know what you should call it but uh, at the time as I was a small child I thought that um, you know drawing and painting uh, like art in general was a talent you get from birth and like you can't improve uh, something that's already like I thought of my art as very bad at the time even now I don't think that I'm a good artist but I think that I've improved since that uh, part of my life and so that's the reason I didn't you know chase art uh, I didn't chase my dream as an artist uh, from a young age because I felt really discouraged and not a good artist myself. But now I am trying with small steps to overcome this and hope possibly become a better artist with time. I'm not quite sure yet, but if you'd like, join me on this uh, you know, crazy ride. I'm sorry about the the camera shaking um, this was the part that I was hatching my drawing and for me it was really satisfying but for you it looks like a earthquake I'm really really sorry and so uh, yesterday I actually bought my first um, set of watercolors when I painted this and um, of course it's not my first time doing watercolors uh, but actually first time doing it properly up until this point in my life I have had watercolor sets but like the crazy cheap ones that you can get anywhere like the child 
type of watercolors that uh, you know are grainy and are not good and so uh, I didn't feel you know the I didn't feel the need to paint with them I actually preferred colored pencils to that because of the the quality of the paints you know I didn't think that I could do well with those and I didn't know that it was the paints and it wasn't me <laughs> at that time I just thought I was a bad artist that I, I didn't have any talent and so I didn't um, you know try to improve with those but now I am trying with small steps <laughs> as I said uh, I'm trying to post art regularly, draw every day, and improve my, you know, sketching skills and drawing skills and painting skills uh, digitally and also now traditionally as I bought the watercolor set. Uh, here I just, you know, sketched a girl and some cute uh, clouds uh, and a rainbow beside her because I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. I was, uh, as I said, really scared of ruining the sketchbook and I didn't really think through what I was going to do. But the reason I drew this character in particular was because I painted this um, in my other small sketchbook. I drew this character and I thought she was really cute and I decided to you know, paint her here as well as it was my first page. I thought that it should be something that I like and um, you know something I'm good at drawing so I you know like the first page should be aesthetic right <laughs> yeah so that's what I did and uh, for the watercolors I bought um, a 36 color set of the Gansai Tambi watercolors um, I was really pondering between the Windsor and Newton and these watercolors and also the Sakura Koi watercolors but I ended up getting these uh, these uh, paints because um, a very uh, great artist, a, gr a great artist that I really really like um, said that these are her favorite watercolors and also that they act, act differently than um, you know regular western watercolors and so I thought um, I should give them a try before you know buying other sets as well like I've not ruled out that possibility and so um, I bought this set and I bought the 36 colors set because um, actually I'm very guilty of you know buying um, such a big set even though I don't need it as a beginner but the reason that I got it was that the 36 color set had um, some gold uh, like shiny colors two gold shiny colors like a uh, silver gold and a gold gold color and they were really pretty and I thought that buying that sparkly set separately would be uh, you know such a waste and I thought that if I can get the 36 color pack now maybe I will you know get super into watercolors and I will use them a long time from now and so I thought that um, it would be a good investment for now I really like this set even though I've not tried other sets I think that this set is very very pretty and the colors are very very, very vibrant and um, of course I am not in a position to do a review of them because I have not tried other watercolors maybe I will in the future but for now, I want to see what these can do and try to learn new techniques. And I'm also thinking about buying a proper watercolor sketchbook to um, be able to paint in layers and use a bit of, you know, some more water. Um, I'm pondering between watercolor paper and watercolor sketchbook. 
uh, but I don't know for now I think that this paper as you can probably see here in the video it does buckle a little bit because I used quite a lot of uh, color and also quite a lot of water here I wasn't sure how much to use and what to do because you know it was my first time but I will learn with time and I hope you'll join me here in this journey it was really fun painting with these and um, I think that um, these watercolors are very very nice even for beginners because of the vibrance of the colors and the fact that uh, the pans are big and the set is very very pretty yeah as to why I started YouTube, well, um, you know, posting on Instagram has helped me very, very much um, because I was, you know, not very consistent with my art be before that. And now that I'm posting on Instagram, I thought that I should challenge myself because posting on YouTube, you know, is different. You have to put a lot more effort because you're... You know showing everyone the process behind your art as well and it's editing and thinking about the music and the voiceover and all that thing all that stuff and so um, I started this YouTube channel in order to you know challenge myself and grow as an artist and I did try to post every day. I did that for three days and I got burnt out <laughs> because it was all like I was running out of inspiration to paint as well because I was painting constantly, trying to, you know, think about ideas of what to do and uh, also editing until late at night, like 1 a.m. and sleeping at 1 a.m or 2 a.m. and then waking up in the morning very early to record and then not being able to sleep uh, until night and so it was tiring and I decided that uh, I should change the posting schedule and I will do videos of course I want to do many of them but I will be posting on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays as a regular schedule and if I do have time and ideas of course I will be painting uh, more and I will post on Sundays maybe as well but I I don't know about that yet I need to try this new schedule of posting every other day and see how it works and if it works fine and my head doesn't run out of ideas then I will post on Sundays as well when I do have the time. But as a uh, you know fixed schedule, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thurs and Fridays, sorry, will be um, the set time for posting. Yeah, uh, I really enjoyed painting this, and um, I'm sorry if I'm making mistakes. As a beginner, I hope everyone understands that and no one is offended by, you know, my knowledge of watercolors. Uh, I did try my best and uh, the main reason why I bought these watercolors was because I wanted to paint uh, my sketches, like give them a little bit of color. I know that for that, uh, maybe Copics would have been a... Um, better option but um for now i i've like up until this point in my life i really wanted to try watercolor as in traditional watercolors like fancy fancy ones of course these are not like the fanciest ones but i think that uh, for a beginner these are quite fancy <laughs> and i really like them and i hope i can improve and uh, you know be able to post better art and better videos and here because I run out of ideas I was just drawing lines with my favorite 
colors of the set. I really like blue and green. These are my favorite colors and um, I think that these watercolors are so so beautiful as in pigmented and shiny and not grainy at all. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like and subscribe that would let me know that you did enjoy this video and I hope to see you in the next one.